Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a person that needs no introduction. Man right here. Welcome to my home gym, Ruth. <laughs> this is the mecca for functional training. I always start every session off, actually every day off, with a 20 minute stretching session because my mi mobility, <laughs> mobility, is it mobility? <laughs> because mobility <laughs> is the way to longevity. <laughs> And longevity is key to life. Okay. Yeah, we're training with Theo today, guys. I have no idea what we're going to be doing because Theo specified that he wants to take the session. I should mention that, bear in mind, no lower body stuff because obviously... Ah, that's what you think. Okay, but not as much as we had originally planned because obviously, how's the hip? Uh, I've got another scan in three weeks. Hey, can't run. I can do a little bit of bobs. Uh, but today's session is going to be basically... Hide me down there, by the way. I don't know. Today's session I've designed as a session I did prior to re-injuring my hip and side my max. Welcome to functional training, mate. Uh, I know you're new to this stuff. Oh, right, okay. Right, what are we doing first then? Warming up, 500 meter skin. Heart rate should be getting nice and high now. And I forgot to start my watch. <laughs> Feel that? Yeah, yeah, I feel that. Victory. One thing you should know about me, asthmatic, held back in life. <sighs> Only up here though. Hmm? Only held back up here. <sighs> Good job, man, keep going. <sighs> okay. So the first exercise, bench press. I never go for like my max ever. I'm we are like, gonna do that today. Okay, I normally do like a mix of hypertrophy. Right, should we just strength. get going? Should we just do the... Since my injury, I've oh, okay. more. I'm gonna try and get a PB for the camera. And how do you do that? Lift as heavy as possible. Do you just do one rep every time? No, I'll probably do like three, just to get my chest flowing. Go up gradually. PB time, baby. I, I don't know oh. if I can do it, but we'll try. Well, I don't know if I can do what I wanna do. So. Well, let's try it, man. We're all about finding the unknown. Look how easy it is. Look at that technique. You have a quite a narrow grip. Yes, yeah, to keep my elbows in. Nothing wrong with that. Good. So what are you doing here now? Straight up to 80. And speaking of 80, a big shout out and thank you to Vanquish Fitness for sponsoring this video. The Vanquish Black Friday sale is now live with up to 80% off. Exclusive new collections are launching with this sale. There are huge offers to be had, but listen to this. Once the stock is gone, guys, it is gone. So get your hands on it as soon as you can. There's tons of options on the website. And for me in particular, I really like the old school style bodybuilding designs. There's stringers, there's vests, there's joggers. It reminds me of when I first started training and these are the type of clothes that I used to wear. And genuinely, I've really been enjoying the clothing. If you guys wanna get your hands on some Vanquish clothing as well, I'll leave a link in the description. Check it out, get involved. Hopefully you copped yourself a sale item and let's get back on with the video. But you're making it look easy. It's probably because it is. Straight into 80 or straight into 70? You've got more energy, so straight into 80. If you're going for like maxes, three rep, one rep. Three rep, one rep. <laughs> yeah. Warm up and then go straight into what you're trying. Okay. 80 kg, a lot heavier than I'm normally used to. Down. Oh, <coughs> lovely. Well done. <sighs> I mean, that was easy for you. Yeah, I, I reckon we have 120. A nice whiff of your armpits there as well. <laughs> this is my PV, 90 kilogram for one. Theo Baker. With no music as well. <sighs> Drive. Yes! PB, PB, PB. Do you want to try 100? Yeah, I'll try 100. All right, well, it's what we do on the channel. We inspire, we motivate. Pretty no, rough with no music, you know? No, music is for the weak. Your mind is the strength. <sighs> mate, if you can lift 110 like that, mate, you, you push that money. Come on, mate, you got this. You got this. <sighs> come on, come on. No. <sighs> Sorry, mate. It's all right. Damn, Daniel. Isn't that, wait, that's crazy. The jump was like, you made 110 look easy. 117.5 is my personal best. So oh, anything, that makes sense, so actually. So anything yeah. over that is like, I just can't get so it. So how, Ollie, as a gym influencer, how do you go about going from 117.5 to 120? Incrementally increasing the amount of reps towards that range. Progressive overload. Yeah, exactly. I felt nervous over 120, but I already told myself I couldn't do it. That's the annoying bit. You can, I can do exactly, this. Exactly, yeah. You can do this. I may have a dodgy hip, but my mind is bulletproof and mind over matter. Big breath, big push. <sighs> Pull me. Yep. Go! Yes! That was a slow rise. Well done, mate. Oh, you see how you got past the sticky point? Lightheaded, yeah. And I yeah. couldn't. Really well done. Felt lightheaded doing that. 
That's superb, man. That's wild. I've never lifted 100 kilograms in my life. New PB on the channel, baby. That's what we do. Holy shit, I feel like I'm going to cry. Oh. Did it look slow as I was lifting it? Very, but it doesn't matter. You fit triple digits. First time in your life, right? Yeah, that's taken out of me. 100 Why? kilos. You need help with this? No. Sure? Yeah, yeah. 100's fine. Well done, man. If people ever take inspiration from these videos, this right there is a man that you can take inspiration from. A personal best on the channel in the first fitness video that he's appeared in. So we're moving on to the first of two EMOMs. Whoa, that's the first time we've heard that word on this channel. What does that mean for you? Every minute on the minute. Nice, functional. First one, first exercise is seated cable row. Yep. Do 12. Uh, I'm going to do 90. Yep, so for people that haven't watched the Vicstar video or haven't watched us do any pull sessions so far, I'll show you what one looks like. So we're going to plant our feet into the box. We're going to row to our pockets. We're going to put, bring our elbows to our pockets. Look at that form. And then nice and controlled tempo. You're going to aim for 10 to 12 reps. So from there, we move on to single arm shoulder press. Single arm shoulder press. Yeah, so core tight. <sighs> nice. Active shoulder above your head. Yeah, and you do 10 of them each arm. Each arm. Yeah. Sounds and good. the last one is a farmer carry. Cool. Farmers being both sides with a kettlebell, yeah. as opposed to one side, which is a suitcase carry. I don't, we'll go to the bikes and back, which is probably like, what, 20 meters? Yeah. So, so demonstration, farmers carry. Keep your armpits slightly out, so lats engaged. And then just walk with the weight. Perfect. Core nice and tight. Bosh. Okay, you ready? Technically an EMOM, but we won't. But not an EMOM for the purposes of this video because we want to speak to you guys in between. Yeah. Wasn't mentioned when we were talking about this, but 45 degree angle. So not flaring out wide, elbows 45 degrees, drive up to the top. There we go. Oh, stop typing them in and get on with the workout. Hang on. You're such a stat nerd, man. So obviously, Reeve. Yes, mate. You would normally have 20 to 15 seconds rest in between. Yeah. But you think, oh, that's fine. But when you get into round two, round three, you get a bit of a sweat. First bit of training in this style on the channel, mate. Congratulations. Do you know why I do it? But you don't know why I do it. So you can eat more food. That. But also I find conventional training boring. I feel like if I haven't sweat in a session, I've not done anything. So that's why I like triathlon so much, because of the variety. I like to stay active, stay moving, keep my brain alert. Being in the trenches, in the red zone, in a, in a functional workout, yeah. you find out a lot about yourself. Yeah. And then when you've been three hours on a bike with no music, just you and yourself, and then you've got to go run a half marathon straight away, it's like, oh yeah, get me in the dark pits of hell in 31 degree heat in France. Very specific. Great memories though, right? Thanks, yeah. Great memories. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's that? Round two done. Total silence. If you had to put on a tune right now, what would it be? I don't know, probably some filthy drum and bass. <laughs> Clothing on point. The clothing is like sweat wicking. So if you're worried about them being like too conventional bodybuilding related, I imagine you could do a functional fitness workout and these and get away with it. Like I am sweating, but you couldn't tell. And you got zip pockets. Exactly, zip pockets, baby, look at that. All right, one more. Hey, first imam done, but not as an imam. Let's put our weights back because we are responsible civilians. Thanks for putting the weights back in my home gym, man. You're welcome. That's for you, Ollie. Go on then, walk next. Right, well, I had written down another 
upper body EMOM to do. Normally I like doing two. Instead of another full upper body, I know your channel likes arm day. So we're gonna do... No, we do whatever. No, it's still an EMOM, but it's arm EMOM. Arm EMOM? Yes, arm pump EMOM. Buys and tries, three rounds, alternating. Let's fucking send it into oblivion, man. Isn't that what they call the maternal parent of a person in the Air Force? What? An army mom. That's why he's made it in life. Right, what we've got left to do? We've got a little arm pump, then we've got some leg rehab to do. You're talking my and language. Then and then we're finishing with a nice aerobic capacity. Very functional today, I like yeah. it. Yeah. Right, so this one's very what's, simple. What's the arm pump? I do love an arm pump. It's literally today. hammer curls yep. into single arm tricep pull down. Right. You would do this every minute on the minute, but just rotate. Five to seven reps, I'm doing a 17 and a half kg hammers. How does he go? What are you doing? It's hammer time. That's what he does, right? And then 20 kg single arm pull down. <laughs> What's the difference between a hammer curl and a bicep curl, Reeve? No supination of your wrist. Why does it work different muscles? Because you're rotating your wrist inwards on a bicycle. So which is better for you? Both equally good. <laughs> but if you want to build big biceps, what would you prioritise? Probably traditional. People are going to be like, oh my god, I hate functional fitness. I'm doing it alright. You do functional fitness, don't you? Yeah. Do people know you do functional fitness? Do they just think you do? No, I think I'm a gym bro. I just lift weight and... Would you consider yourself a hybrid athlete? Yeah, on the low end of the spectrum. Do you consider me a hybrid athlete? Absolutely. Wow, that's funny. People think I'm a fat slob. Well, you can be both. Oh, I can be. <laughs> Is anything wrong with my form here, Reeve? Yeah, you're kind of shifting I'm towards sh when you do it. Yeah. You need, it just needs to be an elbow flexion next time. I need to lower the weight a little bit then. Yeah. But the, hey, more, the more you lean over it, the less you're as actually you're using the tricep. Yeah. Correct. See, this is why you're the coach. You've been showing me around. I'll show you around, and then I'll throw you around. That's like pretty much the upper done. This is normally the point of my workout where I do my physiotherapy, my yeah, rehab. Yeah, let's do it. People want to see what you do. I'm going to choose three exercises today. Okay. Calf raises, RDLs, yep. and bring my hip up. How heavy are we talking? Because this is obviously rehab, right? Yeah, I'm using 17 and a half on RDLs. And then I started at 10 kg dumbbell on the calf raises. Just one though, single leg. I'll show you how you do it. Again, guys, an hour and 10 minutes into the recording, still yet to sweat through this top and wet. So pretty good. All right, calf raises. I'm going to use the same weight as my RDL because you know, so I've built a platform here. Oh, I get it. So you like this? Yeah. Your, your right leg and your right weight. It's okay. like gastro and a little bit. Yeah, exactly that. Okay. See how your ankle's rolling a little bit? Yeah. A lot of people, I train calves pretty much every session, especially with running and stuff. I had chin at the start of the year. You want to be training all these little muscles that normally people don't train. Show the people how to do it then, because you're the master. You can use your hand here to support you, by the way. See how I'm not jumping up, whereas you were jumping up a little bit. Thanks for that, mate, yep. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to eat a slice of humble pie and realise that I'm not doing it properly. So I'm going to go a bit lighter. Like I should have done with the triceps. Yeah. Take do the ego out of the gym sessions, guys. That's better. That's way better. Yeah. See how controlled you are now. Yeah. Is there a reason why you're not going to full extension? I can't. Okay. <laughs> That's what I was asking. Some people, RTLs go to like here. You're meant to go to which your hamstrings are at a stretch, but it's not overstretching. Yeah, that's right. You're not that much lower than me, are you? No, I'm talking about extension. Oh, right. Top, also, you can't squeeze. I can't. Sorry, I meant, I thought you meant yeah, the bottom yeah, yeah. line. Because you, you stop right here. Yeah, because I can't. Because you can't, yeah. Look at you, man. Uh. 
Finishing off with a I've ten, really enjoyed today. 10 minute aerobic piece. 90 seconds on, 30 seconds off, salt bike. Uh, just average pace. And you want to go for like a 65 cadence, so you don't want to go crazy at all. One when he says a salt bike, he means those things. Yeah, Horrible. E echo bike. Horrible creatures. Um, one, thing we, one thing we didn't do, obviously, in the rehab stuff, you haven't, I haven't actually done my hip specific stuff, which I have to do. That would help. Quick example, because I tore my rectus from West tendon off the bone, it's still in its healing phase, so I can't do anything too much. So it's just simple ah. stuff like this. To yeah. get the tendons working around it. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, let's freaking do this, man. Gnarly, gnarly, gnarly. Ready? Yeah, man. What would you say to the people, Ollie? Let's say, cardio destroys your gains. I'd say look after your heart, mate, because you're not here for long. What's your heart rate? 150? 170? Jesus. 30 seconds off. 90 seconds back on, mate. Let's go. That's set. Well, well, well. See how at the end of the five rounds, you're a little bit out of breath. You're not sweating too much. No, it's nice. It's a nice piece to finish on, right? Yeah. That was training with Theo. Whew. Different style of training today. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Vanquish, sale link in the description. Go check it out. We'll see you in the next one.